this video and this is because this is one of the ways to boost your points if you are currently in the express entry pool you could be getting up to 600 additional points for your comprehensive ranking score each province or territory has its own specific stream that is targeted to individuals that fall under a certain group so we have skilled workers we have semi-skilled workers as well hey guys and welcome to my youtube channel you're basically welcome once again if you're new to this channel thank you so much for joining thank you so much for being here today i don't know where you came from but thank you very much for joining this channel please make sure you subscribe down below and be sure to turn the post notification bell on if you are yet to subscribe and if you enjoy watching this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to like this video share with your friend leave a comment down below and subscribe to this channel in today's video so we'll be talking about the provincial nominee program so i've gotten lots of requests about making this video and this is because this is one of the ways to boost your points if you are currently in the express entry pool so by the end of this video you must have found out what pathways are available for your provincial nominee which of the provinces you should consider notifying your interest to how the program works what kind of substreams are available in each of the provinces and how to go about the entire process and some other things you need to note as well so without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So firstly, what is PNP or Provincial Nominee Program? PNP is a valuable route to becoming a permanent resident. It allows for Canadian provinces or territory to nominate individuals based on specific skills or criteria to work in those provinces or territory in Canada and become permanent residents as well. So this program is for people who have the skills, education or work experience and they plan to live in a specific province and also want to become permanent residents in Canada. So each province or territory has its own specific stream that is targeted to individuals that fall under a certain group. So we have skilled workers, we have semi-skilled workers as well, we have for students and for business people. So all Canadian provinces and territories have this provincial nominee program available except for province of Quebec and Nunavut. Quebec has its own different nomination program. So there is two different parts to this provincial nomination program. You can either apply on paper or you can apply under the express entry stream. Now if you are applying under the federal skill worker program, you could be getting up to 600 additional points for your comprehensive ranking score which would help you get your invitation to apply for permanent residency. How do you go about the application? For the paper-based application, you need to apply for provincial nominee under the non-express entry stream. You need to be eligible for based on the criteria set by that province. Once you are nominated, you submit your paper-based application for permanent residency. You also provide a medical examination result and also police clearance certificate. Generally, the processing time for paper-based application under provincial nominee program is longer than the standard time for the express entry stream. So now, how do you go about the application for express entry stream, which is the second part? The first thing is you create an express entry profile, then you indicate interest in those specific provinces that you want to apply for PNP to. The second thing is you must meet the eligibility criteria for both that province and the express entry stream. Secondly, if that province sends you a notification of interest, you contact them directly and you apply to their express entry stream. Once you are nominated, you accept the nomination and you apply for your permanent residency under the express entry stream wait for you to get invitation to apply which would most likely not take long because your score would have doubled by that time then once you get your invitation to apply then you can go ahead and apply for your, your permanent residency under this express entry stream something very important for you to notice that each province have different stream different instructions and requirements for you to meet before you can qualify for notification of interest and you need to visit their website to know what is required of you or what stream you fall under or what category for you to be able to get the notification of interest as well and also you need to know that pnp is based on qualifying noc code so there are several noc code or there are different noc code that different provinces accept or that they send notification of interest to if your profession falls under this noc code and you meet the other criteria that must have been set in place then you can get the notification of interest if you are applying for provincial nominee 
under the express entry stream. The first thing is that you must indicate interest in that province. You must have the qualifying NOC and once you get a notification of interest, you submit your application to that province. Once you get a nomination, you accept the nomination, then you can submit your application after you get invitation to apply for permanent residency under express entry. But now let's talk about some of the provinces that got or that had the highest notification of interest that was sent to individuals in 2019. The first and the top province in 2019 was province of Ontario. Ontario Immigrants Nominee Program, that's the OINP, they had the highest number of notification of interest that was sent and it was over 6,650. You can get this information by just googling it online. Alberta Immigrants Nominee Program, that's AINP, had the second highest nominations in 2019. They issued out over 6,154 notification of interest to successful applicants. The third province on this list is province of British Columbia. British Columbia also had, I think, over 6,000 notification of interest that was set out. Most of all these provinces, they have a target of 6,005 per year. Some of them are able to meet the target, some of them are not, but most of them try to reach that target. The fourth province on the list as well is province of Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program. This is also one of the major provinces that issue out nomination to different applicants. They had over 5,000 nominations last year. And the last but not the least on this province is province of Manitoba. Manitoba also has some certain criteria. Manitoba also had over 6,000 for 2019, which is very, very attractive because they invited people that are mostly semi-skilled in 2019. So now what I will encourage you to do is you visit the website of each of these provinces, identify which of the streams you fall under. Some of them are for tech people, some of them are for people in finance, some invite people in different fields. You need to identify which of these provinces has the qualifying NOC code that you have, then you indicate interest to those provinces and once you get the, the notification of interest, you can accept nomination and apply. In subsequent videos, we will take more in-depth look at each of these provinces to identify which streams are available and which one would best suit your need. So that's pretty much the summary of the provincial nomination program. For Canada. If you have any questions for me regarding the PNP program, you can leave your comments or your question in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to take them. In the description box, I'll link some information that you might like to review. Also, don't forget to check out the individual website of these provinces so that you can see more details as to what the eligibility requirement is for that province. Lastly, if you have video suggestions or questions that you would like for me to take in a video, you can leave them in the comment section. I'm more than happy to consider taking them. That will be all for this video. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to share with your family and friends and subscribe if you are yet to do so. I'll see See you guys in my next video stay confident and be safe out there okay bye bye